Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you for being here for your new love tarot. Taurus, today we're going to be looking at who is coming in for you to love you, to hold you, to give you a relationship. Okay, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this is for you. Uh, and if you were after a private reading, please feel free to email me. Otherwise, let's have a look. Okay, Taurus. Oh, big transformation. Very, this is a game changer, this person. Okay, I'm getting transformation. Pisces energy has come up. Pisces energy has come up twice with the Page of Cups, King of Cups. Okay, it's quite a heavy water energy, actually. Um, could be someone under a Pisces or someone that you meet in Pisces season. Pisces are creative, though, yeah? Like, I'm getting an artist, okay? Someone in art, a writer, a painter, a freelance photographer. It's someone who captures art, okay? It's a storyteller. You've got a very... But Pisces is also very dreamy, okay? So some of you have a, you've got a very dreamy person coming in, okay? Angelic features, nice eyes, uh, chemistry, Okay, but the page from the King of Cups, you've got a page, a knight, and a king. Five of swords is looking to the past. Three of swords is looking to the future. Ten of swords could be a betrayal or someone who has hurt you in the past, Taurus. Some of you have got a past lover coming back. Okay, there's an ex. An ex that's coming back for new love. But it's different this time around. You've got the long-term future card here. Three of Wands is not about the next three days, the next three hours. It's about things like the next uh, three years, the next 30 years, the next three decades. These are big numbers here. He looks to the horizon. He's got a long way to go. Okay. You had plans with this person. You had plans to make it big. Things didn't work out. There might have been another person involved might have been an air sign that screwed things up here for you. I don't know because the Knight of Swords is here. And the Hangman is a waiting game. Okay, it's someone that made you wait. Made you wait for commitment. Made you wait to... Made you wait to have them. Um, they weren't ready. And soon they will be. And soon they're going to come back. They might have hurt you before though. I'm getting a betrayal. With that ten of swords it's not all bad though it's like the darkness lifting so i don't know if before you had like this dark cloud around your relationship okay things you couldn't really see where they were going maybe you had a certain vision of where you wanted to be and then it didn't make it that far um yeah okay so i'm getting a vibe that it's it's different this time around. This person is different this time around. Because to go from the Page of Cups to the King of Cups, this is growth. Okay, they're both part of the water um, element. And this shows growth. This shows change. This shows maturity. But it's, it's, uh, King of Cups represents emotional maturity in the subconscious. So time away from this person might have helped them process their feelings for you or it might have made them miss you even more you know pisces it's a very um it's a sensitive energy i just got goosebumps because i think this person's never stopped thinking about you taurus and they always saw you their future hubby their future wifey but they made you wait because they weren't ready emotionally and now they are and now they want to come back interesting I mean, of course, it's going to be up to you to let them or not, Taurus, but I would give this a chance if, of course, you see that improvement. If you don't, then tough luck. You know, maybe it's not. Maybe they've made you wait too long. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's your choice. You've got to listen to your heart. You know, only you know how you feel about this person. Only you know what bonds you had before, what you shared before. So, you know, go from there. Take it from there. Don't be too hard on yourself. Um, I'm getting some of you, you like you had a time limit. Uh, you had a time limit about what you wanted from life. And I think some of you were sitting there and you was like, you were like, I wanted to have kids by this age or I wanted to be married or I wanted to have 
traveled or be engaged by the sage and you put you put that out there and I don't know if it scared this person a bit but I also feel like you just put a lot of pressure on yourself you know yes unfortunately sometimes things don't work out how we want them to um, or how we envisioned them to but maybe sometimes there's a reason and maybe you know we need to look at that because I like that you've got that yellow that that dawn is is there's hope there's more hope in this connection than there's ever been. There's more hope for this to work out than it, there's ever been. So, yeah, I'm getting the word hope come up next to them. Um, but look, it could be someone around your age. It's someone that you definitely do have some sort of past with, where you, whether you dated for a while or not. There was a very distinct ending. Nine is a number of endings, and it's here. Okay, you've got these longer, uh, these bigger numbers here. Five and three make eight. Eight, nine. Interesting. You've got ten here as well. Ten comes down to the one. Um, okay, three. Three is an important number in numerology. Three is telling me there is a journey. between yourself and them and it's that's that's really refreshing okay so it's someone from your past for some of you it might not be it could be a past life connection in general it doesn't necessarily have to be an ex past life can be just as intense and feel just as real in this life as it was in a previous one so look out for deja vu moments with this person look out for that connection that feels so familiar um, how are you going to reconnect? I feel like they're going to come to you. They're going to present to you. They might stop by your work. They might drop you an email. I think it's them that's going to initiate the contact towards you. It might surprise you and it might be completely out of the blue because the fish is emerging from the cup, completely unexpected, right? So... They might reach out to you completely unexpected. It's like you were doing your own thing, living your life, maybe with someone else, whatever it is that you're doing. And then they come along and reach out and they're like, hey, remember me? And you'll be like, oh, okay. But there's a reason why they're coming back. Okay, energetically, I'm getting emotional processes. They've thought about things. King of Cups rules the, rules the sea rules water water is emotion it's the subconscious because it's deep um they've had a deep love for you and if this is someone new in this life and you've had them from the past life they'll love you very deeply and it's not too often that you have a very deep love but this is you know you, you you're at their heartstrings here you're tugging at their heartstrings taurus so that's definitely been activated. But I think they're going to reach out. I do. Knight of Wands is a bit of a traveler. Three of Wands can be sort of like looking to the horizon card. So there could be travel vibes. But I'm also getting, because there's so much Pisces energy, it could be like a creative thing too. So you might be, you might be trying your hand at something new, a new hobby. But it's kind of like creative. Um, anything with writing. Um therapy, um, art, culture, language. Um, it's like a creative outlet that might reunite the both of you. So it's a, a reunion that you never thought possible, Doris. But it's here. It's here and I'm excited. I'm excited, but I feel a bit unsure. I'm feeling unsure because I think you're gonna be in a different place when they come back. You know, you've grown too, so it's not just them. You've both grown and you know what? You know what might turn you off a bit? There's two knights here. Knights are keen, keen as a bean. So they're gonna be all over you and you might be like, ugh, you know, it's too much. And then they'll pull away a bit and then you'll be like, no, come back, I want that again. You know, so it's not always the way, it's just humans. We are, we're such little attention seekers, aren't we? But yeah, 
they're going to be keen for you. Okay, so they might come on really strongly. They might revisit the past. They might even bring up this whole waiting, this whole something about timeline. I feel like that came up in your relationship before. Either you spoke about timelines or you were trying to buy each other more time or you gave them more time to show up, glow up, do what they needed to do. So, yeah, I'm in your corner here, Taurus. I would, I'm kind of in their corner too, though. I, I want you to explore this because I think there's a lot more emotional maturity. There's a lot of love that they have inside of them that they need to share with you. They need to show you, express to you. They weren't able to do that before. This time around, it's different. Remember, I mentioned the hope. The darkness is gone. The breakup happened, they've come to terms with it, they had time to reflect, they had time to think, and now it's different. Now they're different, and they're going to be offering you this. So you'll have to let me know how that goes, Taurus, but of course thank you as always for tuning in, and I do hope to be in touch again very soon, so thanks everyone, and bye for now.